let's create the ultimate beachy hair waves. This right here is the GHD, their 1.25 inch curling iron. In my personal opinion, from testing different methods, I think it's best to get this method using a curling iron with a clip. So you can use a flat iron, you can use a curling wand, whatever, but I think this one right here, and also a 1.25 inch. It might seem really thick for you, even if you have shorter hair, but trust me, this will work and it's phenomenal. Let's prep my hair and we're ready to begin. I'm gonna use the Bumble and Bumble, the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. This is the Tingle Teaser, their ultimate finisher hairbrush. I personally like to start curling from the back to the front, just splitting the hair right down the middle in the back and bringing it to the front as much as I can. But I'm taking pretty big sections. Um, that's why one of the reasons I love using a 1.25 inch it kind of gives it that sweet spot. And I'm gonna kind of start and kind of very gently drag towards the root. We're gonna drag once, making at least one full twist. Hold it. This goes very quick. You go underneath, kind of drag it down, hold your clip. Wrap once, another full twist. Down, use your clip, open it up and then one more full twist and then down and then very gently dragging it through. But I'm always opening the clip when I kind of drag the hair through or pulling the hair through the clips. And that's the first curl or first wave. And this is where you can get crazy. You can go multiple different directions. You can go forward, back, forward, back. You can go all in the same, same direction. It just is up to you. I sometimes like to go in the same direction, sometimes I like to mix it up, alternate. So I'm gonna show you guys the alternate version. So I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna run kind of like this, let go of the clip, twist, make a full twist. And you're gonna kind of drag down using the clip. One more full twist. Drag down, just very gently, and then last twist. just like so. It's very easy. And I'm gonna do this one as one big section. And I'm always, always utilizing that clip to make sure I don't, you know, rip my hair out. <laughs> On this side, the exact same thing. Hold. I'm gonna open the clip a little bit, it's too close to the scalp. Do a little whoop, unclip, full roll, down, unclip, full roll, down, down, and drag. So you'll see in the mirror, change the direction of your curling iron, which way your clip is supposed to go. And I do recommend to use a mirror for several times and then once you get the hang of it, you don't even need a mirror at that point. It's more about like sectioning and if you've missed any hair. <laughs> but I can easily do this without a mirror. And what I like about this method or this technique, it's so fast and you don't hold the curling iron on your, on your hair for so long, especially compared to the traditional method. Moving on, next section. This one's going right where the temples are. And I just like to go all the way to the back. I know some people like to section off with multiple clips. I just do it this way. And then just bring it up into this loose, messy top knot. And secure. And again, go in the back and divide and bring the hair forward. And then same thing, add a little bit of the hair primer and then continue curling the hair. Make sure to brush it through. That means all the product is gonna get dispersed properly. And also it's gonna ensure I don't have any knots. The longer your hair, more twists you're going to do.
So when you get close to your ears, you don't have to bring the curling iron up so close. That way you have space to really move it down and make sure you move it away, away from your ears, not towards, that's the one thing, away. See how I'm pointing the tip because the tip is not hot? I just want to, I want to, you know, really ensure that. <laughs> Tip it away or twist it away from your ear or from your head altogether. I'm going to go one more time. So it depends how thick your hair is, how many layers you have, all that good stuff. And this is where would be the time to section your parting line, like where you want it to lay. So if I was going to do on the side, this is where I would actually start with that parting line and then just divide it on the other side where there's more hair because I'm going in the center. This doesn't really matter. It's gonna grab all that hair. And the higher I get to the top of my head, the further I get away from my root. Because I find that it just blends the easiest and the best as the hair falls out throughout the day. And depending how often I wash my hair, it just looks better. So don't go all the way up to your root. And another thing, when you're starting, don't just start straight, kind of give it a little angle to help twist the way you're going to twist the hair or the wrap around the curling iron. That way the curling iron is working with you, not against you. And it goes by fast because you're taking big sections. And these ones, I kind of get a little bit closer. Let go, bring it around, just because I have shorter hair pieces around here. In the very top section. I start pretty low, having quite a bit of hair at the top towards the root. But you know what? This top section, I'm gonna go all in one direction just because it's a s smaller section of hair towards the top. And you'll still see the other pieces peeking through the ones that are going the different direction. These front pieces, I'm picking them a little bit closer to the root, just to get a little bit of a bend for those tiny little baby hairs. And then just down. Next, you can add dry shampoo, you can add texture spray. I've just been going without lately. And just take your fingers and tussle this through. Okay, so I want to show you guys that you can do a different part with this style and this method if you're alternating the waves. It just looks good any way you part your hair. So I think it also adds that little extra volume if you do style it in the center and then when you flip it to either side, you get that nice little boost of volume that you didn't really even have to work hard for. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this technique. I know I've done this before, but I wanted to give you more of an updated, more in depth of how to do it and how I like to do it. But thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.